Hi, my name is Aaron Cargyle. I'm a part of the class of 2019, and I am pursuing a Bachelor in Fine Arts in Film and Television Production. The uh, FTB major here is unique. It's uh, the best film program in the state, and it's one of the uh, most hands-on programs in the entire country. One of the things that I really like about being an FTV major is that every day is a little bit different. Typically my classes aren't until the afternoon and I have pretty flexible work hours. And so I usually tend to get up a little bit later in the day and then I will tend to my classes. Uh, the big class this year, of course, was my capstone class, which is where I made my senior film. And I describe it less as a class and more like a lifestyle. Your film becomes your life and it becomes a part of your life in a way and I think it makes the film better because of it. Some people choose to specialize in cinematography where they'll maybe shoot several films, some people choose to specialize in sound design, um, some people choose to specialize in screenwriting or editing, and really it's whatever part of the film production process that you find the most interesting you can specialize in if you wish. Every single step of your process is in service of the next step. And so no matter what uh, you're working on currently, you're not just working on pre-production to make pre-production good, you're working on pre-production because you want production to go well so that post can go well. Because ultimately that is the finished product that your audience is going to see. They are not going to see all of the effort that you put into the film necessarily, they're going to see whatever is on the screen and you want that to be as good as possible. Documentary, since there's no script, right, and you don't necessarily have a, uh, a piece of paper that tells you what your story is requires an intense amount of post-production, which means you have to re-watch your footage many times, you have to make transcripts of interviews, and you have to really, like, sit with that footage for a long time. Typically, um, in the evening time is when I usually sit down to do more of the hard film work, film editing, for example. This is how I spend most of my second semester. Pretty much my normal workflow would be typically from maybe eight o'clock until sometimes three or, three or so in the morning. But that was a personal choice that I made. There were other students who worked more traditional hours that just tended to be where I was most uh, constructive. Here at the University of Arizona, we learn about all the different phases of, of the production process, and we all kind of learn about what our favorite parts and maybe the parts that we want to specialize the most in. No one person can do everything. You absolutely have to collaborate with other people. And if you have good collaborators, that collaboration will make your film better in the long run. The biggest piece of advice I could give new Wildcats in the film program is to get out there, get on sets, and get involved. Your success in the program is going to depend on how much you put into it. The second thing I'd recommend is to really try to focus on finding your voice. Find the films that speak to you. Find the styles that speak to you. College is a time you can experiment with different cinematic styles and different ways of making things so that when you get out of it, you can really try to find the aesthetic or the, uh, the area of film that speaks to you the most. Hi, my name is Aaron Cargyle, and this has been a day in my life.